New at 6 tonight, flu season is approaching. ABC 17's Kennedy Miller is live in Columbia. And Kennedy, you spoke with a pharmacist today who told you she's seeing vaccine traffic go up at her pharmacy. Marissa Lucas, Tanya Alberti, who works at DNH Drugstore, tells me now's the time to get vaccinated as we head into colder weather. She also says it's more convenient for you to get your booster shot and your flu shot at the same time. Some medical professionals say we are headed into the time of the year where getting a booster and flu shot are key to staying healthy this winter. Just as Ed Meadows, a Columbia resident who tells me he can't remember the last time he didn't go winter without a flu vaccine. I've gotten them as long as I can remember, and it normally works for me. Tanya Alberti, who's been a pharmacist at DNH Drugstore for more than 20 years, says she's starting to see more people coming in to get vaccinated and boosted. And Alberti says the new bivalent booster shot shouldn't cause any symptoms different from previous COVID-19 vaccinations. Most people are feeling maybe a little tired, um, could have some aches or, or some chills, maybe a little low-grade fever. You know, some people aren't experiencing any, and if they do experience any of them, it usually doesn't last more than 24 hours. In Missouri, there are currently 781 hospitalized patients for COVID-19. Both Boone and Cole counties are in the medium COVID-19 community levels, according to Missouri's Department of Health. Alberti tells me when community COVID-19 levels were high, the demand for testing was between 80 to 100 people a day. But Alberti says that number has dropped significantly. Definitely doing like 40 or 50 a day uh, right now, and those, those appointments are, are definitely booking up. And as appointments start filling up, Ed Meadow says he's going to at least get his flu shot this year, especially. Spend a lot of time indoors with a lot of people and you don't know who's gotten it and who hasn't so uh, the shot itself has never really bothered me so I don't mind taking it. And flu data hasn't came out this year, but as soon as we get those, late, those latest numbers, we'll keep you updated on air and on our website. Reporting live in Columbia, Kennedy Miller, ABC 17 News. All right, Kennedy, thank you. You can visit our website for a list of pharmacies that are offering flu and COVID-19 booster shots. The number of COVID-19 cases.